see, the most important thing about learning is not what you're learning, but rather how you learn that same thing. In other words, it's very important that you focus on asking yourself questions, asking me questions, asking the world questions. The answers are basically the steps that you need to take to pursue the ultimate goal, which is skill, mastery, truth. So pay attention to all those questions because they are giving you clues as to what you want to know, what you don't know, and what you need to do to get to what you must know. Not all questions tell you the truth. Some answers eventually eliminate what is not relevant to be known. But you still need to ask the questions. As a teacher, my job is to push you towards those questions. If I, as a teacher, focus solely on giving you the answers, then I might be leading you towards the path of untruth. And if that's the case, then I failed at my job. So my role is not to provide you with answers or tell you where to go or what to play, what to learn. Rather, my role here in this relationship is to show you how you can learn, how to process what's valuable, how to get rid of what's not valuable, and how to clarify the path. That's it. That's our job. A while ago, I started asking myself questions as to what my role was as a teacher. One of the things that I realized is that I wasn't really agreeing with most of what I saw out there, especially ever since online education exploded. From then on, I really realized that I had a fundamental problem with the way teachers were capitalizing on ignorance. So let me break it down. For me, uh, online education is a great thing because it provides access. If you listen to any of my podcasts, if you watch any of my other videos, you will see that I keep going back to this problem. Because for me, this is a foundational issue. I'll tell you why. We are losing track of what really matters. And by doing so, we are now steering some students away from what's really important to learn, which is learning it's important to learn how to learn that's the whole point of being a teacher we are not here to teach them tricks we are here to teach the students skills and the skill of mastering something is the meta skill that beats all other skills so why waste time with minutiae why waste time with small questions why waste time I fundamentally believe that it's time we change the way we teach. Uh, not that all teachers are bad, don't get me wrong, but like anything else, uh, the majority is not the elite. And that's just the way it goes. However, however, it is very important that we understand that we can increase the size of the minority. We can increase the size of those who have the student in mind, not just the teaching, if you know what I mean. You see, my uh, new book, my, my upcoming book, I should say, Hidden Teachings, is all about how to zoom out and really see the macroscopic level of things. In other words, when you teach, you need to always be thinking about the student and how the student learns and how to teach that student to answer his or her own questions. Everything else that you teach should be just tools that will represent and somehow give a sort of image and, and frame of work for how to learn. So if you're teaching a student how to play a rock beat, well, make it more macroscopic. Don't focus so much on just playing the notes. Teach the student about rock. Teach the student about calibration, dynamics, mechanics, transcription skills, ear training, all of it teach everything. It's an all-inclusive, holistic approach to teaching. And ultimately, ask them questions. And more importantly, get them to ask questions. Here's what I would suggest. As a teacher, we must be able to reverse engineer all concepts and allow the students to do that process with you guys. In other words, if you're teaching a, a big concept like jazz, well, reverse engineer that. Go back to the foundation. If you're teaching a small concept like how to do a double stroke, well, reverse engineer that and go back to the foundation, whatever that might be. 
and the foundation is always the beginning and the end of that exercise. I might need to say that again. The foundation is always the beginning and also the end of that exercise. So ultimately you have to ask yourself, why capitalize on creating content if you can effectively create content makers? It's not about the next best trick or lick or chop. It's about creating thinkers, artists, people who are connected to their own self-expression and have the tools to not only execute what they think about, but to think about new things. To constantly come up with new ideas, refreshing ideas, that doesn't come from small ideas, that comes from the ability of connecting dots between all those small steps and the big picture. And that ability to connect dots doesn't come naturally. It needs to be trained, it needs to be nurtured, it needs to be taught. Your job as an educator is to teach them how to connect the dots, is to teach them how to see the big picture, is to teach them the meta skills that create skills. So you see, my job is not to teach you for the next 10 days and give you some sort of homework that you can then just tick the box and move on. My job is to teach you for the next 10 years. My job, hopefully, is to teach you for the next 10 lives. So teachers, stop teaching for the next 10 days and start focusing on a 10 year plan for your students. Now is that easy? Hell no. But get to work, you might just succeed. Good luck.